Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how to make this dirty pour flip cut painting. You can always add a vinyl cutout to personalize it, which I did for my cousin for her wedding. I'm really excited to give it to her. For this painting, we are going to need your paint. I'm going to use three colors. You need your paint. Just regular acrylic paint will work. Spray silicone. You can get this any hardware store. Cups. Is something to stir your paint with. I'm using forks. And Low trawl. This is what you're going to add to the paint to thin it out. So I'm going to start by pouring each color, use a whole, whole container, each color in its own cup. Next, I'm going to add my flow trough. Keep adding it. Add a good bit of this. We want to basically make it very thin. I have a fourth cup which I'm actually going to spray, shake your silicone up, and we're gonna spray this in the inside of that cup. When we flip it over, all that paint is just gonna slide right out. It's not gonna to stick to our cup. So go ahead and spray that quite a bit. So we are gonna layer colors inside of our cup. And we wanna spray silicone in each color Get those cells going, stir it up. So now we're gonna layer the colors in our cup. And we're gonna keep rotating and switching and trying to work pretty fast. So I'm gonna start off, I think, with this pink color. And you're gonna pour it up really high. All right. Next, we're gonna do brown. Make sure you're constantly stirring it. And I'm gonna keep layering my colors and then we'll do the pour. So, I got a little paint on there, doesn't matter. We're gonna cover it anyway. So my setup here, I have, I actually have a canvas turned upside down, which will cause like a well to hold my paint that drips off. And that way it's not all over the floor. And I have a garbage bag to catch it, so it's perfect. Usually when you do this, you want something that is raised up on the back so that the paint can just drip right off of it. This is the trickiest part of this. You're gonna take your cup, take your wood or canvas or whatever. This is why it's called a flip cup. Hold it really tight, flip it over, and we're gonna lift it right up. See how that paint just slides out? Then you're going to turn, keep rotating this until the paint covers the whole thing. But if you like an area and you don't want it to drip off, then just stop and start tilting to the other side. This is probably gonna take quite a few days to dry. So we're gonna see what this looks like when it's dried, and we'll probably put like a Bible verse or something written on the front, and I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after it's dried, and I'm pretty happy with it. It didn't have any cracking or anything, it just looks really good. I'm gonna finish this off 
was doing a last name on it for a present. And I cut this out of my Cricut, it's vinyl, and it will stick to the wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that put on there. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys later.